For the next part of the installation, we're going to go ahead and take our transmitter along with the installation disk and install the drivers for this display adapter on this laptop. Now, for this next part, you can either plug in the transmitter to a USB port either before installing the drivers or after installing the drivers. It does not matter. So I'm going to take my transmitter and I'm going to plug it into this USB port. At this point you will have the installation disk inserted into your CD-ROM drive. For this installation we are using a Windows 7 professional 32-bit operating system. The following autoplay window will appear on your screen. Left click on the option that says set up wireless USB software. The VStream installation window will now appear. Left click on the option that says install wireless USB software to install the DisplayLink drivers, wireless USB software, and wireless USB drivers for our VStream display adapter. A progress bar will start to move across the VStream installation window and pop-up windows will appear to install the necessary components from our disk to your system. First, the wireless USB drivers and software will be installed, which allows the transmitter and receiver to communicate with each other. Click on the Next button to continue with the installation. After a bit more progress, a prompt for the end user license agreement will pop up to install the DisplayLink software and graphics driver. Click on the I accept button and the installation will continue. Once the installation is complete, a window will pop up that tells you to plug in the USB adapter to your system. Click on the Finish button and then click on the Exit button to close the installation window. Notice that in your system tray located in the lower right hand corner of your screen new icons have appeared. First, we have the Wireless USB Manager icon that indicates the status of the connection for the VStream display adapter. In this case, the color is green, indicating that an adapter is connected to the system. Also, next to the Wireless USB Manager icon is the Display Link Graphics Manager icon which controls whether or not the monitors are set to either duplicate or extend their desktops on the screens. Once connected, your sound will output onto the TV instead of the speakers on your system. With this, the installation of the VStream display adapter is now complete. Once you've completed the setup of the VStream display adapter, this is what it should look like. Note on the left hand side we have the transmitter plugged into a laptop, and on the right hand side we have the receiver plugged into a base going through an HDMI cable to the TV. There are no objects blocking the line of sight between these two devices. This is a zoom out of all of the devices plugged in to use this display adapter. What I'm going to show you now is a high definition clip playing on the TV 
with video and audio coming from the laptop through our display adapter to the TV.